in this video we are going to discuss about sources of error in measurement so basically there are various kind of sources uh, that are part of uh, measurement the first one we can say like instrument errors so definitely when we do measure some kind of entity some kind of uh, objects right so the errors which is caused by instruments are called as instrumental errors basically they are caused due to limitations of the measuring instrument it for example a ruler may not be perfectly straight or scale may not be perfectly balanced or it may have some kind of errors that ruler may be broken down or it may not be perfectly calibrated likewise that right the next one is per personal errors so personal errors are caused by mistakes of the person making the measurement so if let's say some person is measuring some particular uh, let's say entity then uh, the error which is done because of the human nature can be put under personal errors for example person may not read the instrument correctly or they may not hold the object steady while measuring it right so that can be the cause of personal errors right so that is the thing now environmental errors basically it is an error which is caused by factors outside the control of person which is not in a control of a researcher or a person who is making the measurement for example a temperature or humidity of the room may affect the accuracy of the measurement so that is out of control based on environmental errors and random errors they are caused by factors that are unpredictable and cannot be controlled for example the air currents in the room may cause the objects to move slightly and due to which they may affect the measurement you can also understand let's say if you are waiting something on a waiting machine and from upper side there is a pressure of air maybe due to fan or anything else right due to which this weight may get affect due to which some errors may be generated that is called as random errors right so uh, there are some of the errors that i have discussed there are also we can say that the uh, uh, means uh, what what can we do for uh, reducing it so for uh, reducing for reducing the error for uh, reducing the errors for reducing the errors we can use correct measuring instrument for the task at the hand or we can make sure that the measuring instrument is in good or working condition and has been calibrated recently so let's say there is a device basically it measures that the quality of uh, uh, milk is good or not for milk industry let's say for nestle if we talk then there is a device which measures the quality of milk that whether we can accept the milk from the farmers or whether we can accept the milk or not so it should be calibrated it should not be like that the whatever parameter we are setting and when time pass it it may get some errors and we may accept uh, bad quality of milk right so it should have to calibrate it uh, frequently right so that it can check the parameters accurately and uh, we can reduce the error by following the instructions carefully when using the measuring instruments we can take the time and be careful when making the measurement and uh, we can repeat the measurement several times and we can then make an average so basically what they do that uh, they do the measuring let's say 10 times and they add them and divide by 10 right so they can take the average so definitely if you are let's say uh, let's say if you are going to find the blood sugar if you are going to find the blood sugar then you can take first you can take second time you can take third time testing at the same time if you are having the machine and then add them one plus two plus three and divide by three so we can take this average as a uh, as a uh, quantity so that we can uh, just uh, reduce the error right so this is some of the methods by which we can reduce the error in measurement right so i hope the things are clear and in the next lecture we are going to cover the next topic still then i hope the things that i have discussed is clear and if you are having any doubts confusions queries please feel free to ask guys have a very nice day jai hind jai bharat